M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Geek Nest Radio V5A. I just want to show you how to change the screen style and dim it as well. So if you press the blue button and the red button, so when you assemble it, make sure you put, put them in that order. Press the two outer buttons, watch this. It changes colour and it does look really nice actually. I like the blue one. The one, that one there, I didn't really like it. That's the default one. Okay. Going through. Quite a few choices. Now this has got broadcast radio, airband, VHF. The red's quite nice. I like the blue. Now if you want to dim it, do the same thing. Hold your fingers in on the red and blue button, but turn the black knob and it changes the brightness. I mean, it's quite hard for you to see, but... It is changing the brightness. How cool is that? And then the other basics are, and I'm going to do way more videos on this, but if you look where it says seek here, you've got the black button just here. Press it down and it goes to menu. When you're on menu, when it says menu, see at the top, you've got like a longer list which says AM, CB, and of course it does CB, noise reduction, AGC, amplifier, that, I think that's digital out. That's what the DO stands for. I don't know yet, but I think that means that once you've got things like FTA, it will send it out the USB, but I don't know that. RDS is a radio term for, say you're listening to Radio 1, it will say Radio 1 on the screen. And then you've got TMR, which I don't know what that is yet. So if, I, if we stay in menu mode and then turn the black knob, and remember to turn this whole device on and off, you just hold down the black knob, okay? But anyway and same to turn it off. So as we turn, look, you'll see it's moving along. Look, CB, noise reduction, AGC. So you're selecting as the amplifier when you're in menu mode. If you, when you say you go to CB, and hopefully I got this right, and you go up, or you can now go up or down. So just look at the word CB, and it's changing, look. CB, I'm going, Shortwave 9, 15 meters, 17, 20 meters, look. Okay, so just remember that's what you do. Pretty cool, eh? Oh yeah, if you double tap, it turns the screen off. You just don't go too fast. So of course I'm going to put an antenna on this and really test this. Have fun. We'll leave it on CB for now. Now, if you press the top knob again, the black knob, press it once, the word changes to volume. So that speaks for itself. You can turn the volume up and down. It shows it here. And also you get this, when you are receiving, you get this mini scope. That's a nice basic one. So, and then press the black knob again. Channel. So you can change the channel. There aren't, I'm not seeing lots of channels here, but maybe that you can add more. But say channel three, for example, we're on channel three, we'll press the red button, it goes to channel three, which we're there. Now, if you want to change that channel, what you do is press the black button again until it says frequency, and now you can change frequency. And to change the step, and it only does this when it's highlighting frequency here, you press, see the megahertz here? You can change that. So at the moment it says one kilohertz. So we're changing one kilohertz, okay? If you press the red button, okay, uh, it changes 10. Press it again, 500 is that, call my eyes. 100, that was 50, and 1000. So that's how you change frequency. Now press the top button again. And it's back to menu, and there is one there where it will seek. And I don't know why it's not showing me that at the moment, but there is one where it will get to the word seek, and that, will, and then when you just turn the knob, it will just start to search. So I'm guessing that to get to seek, you probably have to be on one of these. So I'm I'm going to go on menu, move it to VHF, then see if it will let me find seek. Yeah, I'm not really sure why it won't now let me find seat, but that's okay. We don't have to learn everything in one video. So every button has multiple functions. They have long press, short press, and double press. So quite a lot to learn in the manual. There's even one that puts it into Bluetooth mode. 
Now I think in Bluetooth mode it just acts as a speaker. So when you, I'll try it now, press the double, the yellow twice. And it sort of reboots and when it comes on, let's just turn the screen off. Let's try and number the, the red one. There you go. So you everything's gone from the screen, yeah? But the idea now, I believe, is that it will pair with a speaker, not with a speaker, with a device that is, that's got Bluetooth. So if you look, I mean, they haven't paired, but if you look here, I just got my, my N76 here, and I'm trying to pair it as if it was just like a speaker, yeah? And it is showing GN Radio Pro, and it, this is called the Geek Nest Radio, so it's gotta be that. It's not pairing, because maybe it needs to be a certain kind of, of, I don't know, Bluetooth, but it's trying. So look, I just tried it on my Icon 52 and it's found it again. So if we go, yes, to connect, confirm the following key, the thing is, no key is showing, so. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that it's sort of beginning to work, but we got more to, you know, we haven't got a key. Uh, showing on the screen there, have we? So it, I think it needs one of those sort of, I wonder what else we could do. Pairing reception, nah. Anyway, I, I don't wanna to spend too much time on the uh, on the Bluetooth side, but you can see how, um, you know, that's another interesting little feature that it's got built in. Let's go back to pressing down now. Oh, we have to come out of Bluetooth mode. How do we do that? So I'm gonna press that twice, the red button. And then press it again, hopefully that's out of Bluetooth mode now. Although there's no soldering, it's quite fiddly assembling actually, because there's so many bolts on that and the screen and it was fiddly, that's how I found it. So press down till we get to the word menu here. Then we'll go to, turn to VHF. It sort of did it then, so. So we're in VHF and I pressed up and down and it started to scan. Although that isn't the seek that I saw earlier. Let's just turn it off and on a minute. Back on. And then we'll go back to menu here. Turn, you've got noise reduction, you've seen that. Let's go AGC as well. I'll leave that on like that. Now we need to go back to menu. AGC's there. See that? I don't really know how it all works, but... Amp. Let's go menu amp. Go back to amp. Oh, that actually did bring a signal in, didn't it? Okay, with all music, we get told off. Then you got the digital FM click. Now you got. It takes a bit of getting used to the navigation. See that, it's going from AM and FM. And on, on, there's airbag, of course loud. And you know, on mine, if I want, I'm 133850, but we obviously need airband. So what I would do is I'd press down, go to frequency, then I'd change the channel step by pressing the, the top button, wasn't it? until it was one kilohertz, 1,000 kilohertz. Go to 133 on my, where I live. Then I'd step down to, say, the 50, go 1,8, and I'm 5,0. I'm just going changing the steps, so I'll just quickly zip. 850 is my airband, and which I can get stations in this in this shack i would say we probably need the amp on um now we don't know if we're in airband if we press down here 
Um, so it says air there. Go back to menu. We're on air. And well, really, I just want to pick someone up. But if we turn to amp and I'm going to press, we need to stay in menu mode. Go to amp, then that's better. So now we just need a plane to fly over. If I just click down, keep it in volume. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is am I in AM? It doesn't actually show it on screen. I know, I know we've got the, the word air there. If I go back to menu and flip air, I think that's going to take me off frequency. Uh, but what I can do is go back to frequency. I can actually save it. Uh, on channel number one, look. So we we'll hold down the blue, and I believe that saved it. Um, it'd be nice to pick up at least one aircraft, wouldn't it? So back to menu, and then if I just stay on air, briefly press. No, see that when I press. Oh, That's gone to Look, FM. It, it, the speaker works fine. Can you see I've lost it now? Back to air. What I could do, if I go to channel, go back to channel one that I just saved, press the red button. No. Oh, no, that's not, it's not, the air one isn't there. Let's go to, you choose the, there's the one, there's my air one there. Otherwise, you know, I just go on the side here. There's a USB-C there. That's your buttons. And you've got a cut. They've got two on-offs, I think, here now. One turns off the battery. One turns everything off, I think. And then you've got um, a... Oh, we have one. Do you hear that? So, go to volume. That was actually an aircraft. So there's a little switch there for which you select for either Bluetooth or um, shortwave radio. So let's wait a bit longer, see if we pick up another aircraft. We definitely have one then. Don't forget, that's an antenna that came with the device, just a, a budget telescopic antenna. If I put my external antenna on there, it's going to do a lot better. If you ever want to reset it, all you do is turn it off by holding down the black knob. Hold your finger on the yellow button while turning on, it resets everything. Yeah, I think I know why the seek didn't work. When the switch up here is, is clicked to the right, yeah, it's quite fiddly to get to. It's in LSB, USB type mode. When it's flicked to the left, and when you go to the menu now, it's now it's like VHF, UHF mode. When you go through now, it should show the, the seek. I'm going to hold it, turn it off. And then turn it back on. I'm just reading the instructions as we wait, really. Let's see if it allows it. Channel, frequency, menu, volume. No, it's not doing it now, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? Still waiting for that aircraft. It does have quite a hefty battery in this. 3000 milliamp hour, it's the 18650 battery model. That's the radio board you're seeing at the back there. The screen's, you know, it's small, look at my finger, yeah. And um, you can upgrade the firmware, all the links are in the description. And yes, you do use the USB C. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. 73, hit the like, hit the subscribe, catch you on air, bye for now.